Hello and welcome back to the county of Portsdale. My name is Badger the British and on this episode I'm very excited to say we are going to be bringing in a transport hub for what we're calling is New Brighton. Now we're going to work on the entrance because I want this kind of splitting off into two here. So this has got this main junction down here and I want to bring in a transport hub here. So I want to bring in a transport hub here. So when we do get this square, we're going to have our transport hub basically in the middle, but the entrance. So I don't want the trains coming all the way in. And also I want to train another like mini hub over here for when we expand into this square. But I don't want these two train lines to touch. Otherwise it might send trains through here, like main trains through. And that will just mess everything up. So we want them a, a northern terminal and a southern terminal, basically. So let's get a cracker lacking. Now, if you haven't watched my live stream, we went through all the new gubbins and bits and bobs on the last one. That's in the card at the top here somewhere. Yes, I've learned how to insert cards now. So there's a new building. These are the new buildings. And it's eerily picked the one I wanted to use. But there's all these new stuff in the new content creator and DLC packs and stuff. Well worth it for like four or four, I think it's four pound per pack. Very good, very good for them. And you can choose between metro, bus, or the bridges here. So, first of all, let's bring in the trains. So, this is going to be like the major train station that we're going to be using so we're going to need the hub we're going to need a big hub and so we wanted that roughly over here didn't we now I think it's always important to plan your infrastructure first before you bring in houses and such so we're just going to use big road over here just get a straight path off this way I'm going to kind of have it at an angle because everything in UK is at an angle. I'm going to come back here. So this is where all the train visitors and everyone's going to arrive for the first time. And now we do need to introduce the train line. So we're going to delete this because it is running a bit too parallelly to that road up there. Gonna, right, so first of all, we're going to work on the entrance. Come out 20. That way it gives a lot of room for trains to yield. Come out 15. And we want that to connect nicely to that. And we want the same on the opposite side. 20. fifteen, And in she goes. Perfect. Now for these, I, I kind of tempted to put a local line in, but for now I'm going to leave those two blank, just until we work out what we're going to do with them. And I'm also going to have to sneak this train line around the back here. I know, I know, I should have done this. Do anything, hold on. So when we come to expand the square, we will make this a bit more natural looking. But for now, it's going to bend this train line around the back of Alexandria or Horseville. And just to give it a bit of a purpose, we are going to make a stop here. And we're going to use one of the new train stations as well. This really sexy one up here with a car park so everyone could drive up to it and park their car. That's a bit zigzagged for my taste. So that one, that one, curve tool. And there we go, boom. 
Just gotta bring this up to the line here. Swing this round. And we're gonna pop this out, making sure we leave about a 10 gap so there's enough for a train to wait if needed. And boom. Okay, so that's connected up as well. Okay, so you need electricity. So it's very easy just to make that jump over. There, boom. Okay, now to bring in this other train line. I'm going to leave those two open just so it gives me a bit of room to basically bring in another line if needed. And let's just finish off the square. Okay, so transport hub, it's basically like, I guess, I thought that was skew if then, but no, it's the roof, isn't it? That's, it's because of the, the, the awesome design of the building. Um, no, and so transport hub, it's basically somewhere like, um, I would guess you would say like Victoria in London, where you can basically get bus to train to train to bus to underground to this to that basically you get anywhere just gonna pull this forward so I know what I'm playing with I'm coming around to the idea of having elevated like trains train lines in my city how close can we get it no can we can we go all the way there Okay, that looks pretty good. Do we want to go that close? Oh, we're just going to have a look what that looks like on the other side. Okay, so we can't go that close, but we can go that close with one of them. Okay, yes, no, we do want to go that close because that looks really nice and tidy. And now we're going to mix it up a bit by bringing is this a bus with a sunken metro? it is a bus with a sunken metro so you can see where I'm going with this this is going to be like the hub hub so that's perfect that can go there in fact we're going to move that just a bit down Let's see, back a little bit. Sorry, sorry to be pedantic. There we go. Just want to try and make that look nice. So we've got our buses here on the side, so they can come out, come over, get a bus. And if you want to force zebra crossings, oh, you can't get zebra crossings on these type. Okay, what about if we put these type? Nope. Okay. Don't oh, come on. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So, yes, I've decided. I have decreed that we are going to have a tram in the city. I'm I'm fairly against trams because we don't often have them in the UK, but. This is a seaside town, there would be trams, so there we go, we're going to have trams on this side. Now there is no tram station in Skylines, as you can see there is no tram station whatsoever, and there's none in here as well. So you kind of have to freeball it and make your own basically, which I love doing. Shall we go along? I think we'll go along actually. I think it's kind of like the point of this whole design. And this has to be attached to a road. Fair Dinkin. So there we go. Perfect. Sorry, a bit 
getting a bit anal on the old placement. There we go. Okay, so. If we continue the road that's out here straight on, then we know what we're going to be working with. Perfect. So let's build our tram station. No, we want the one without that one. There we go. Grade that road. And then we're going to be putting another line in. Over here we're going to be putting another one. And another one. Wonderful. So basically you're just giving them loads of options to travel around the city. I mean you could even make these like one way. Or two way, whichever way. You want just to spice it up and just bring this bit of the city alive, basically. And actually, that is going to cause a bit of a mess, isn't it? If we think about it. That's good. Yeah, it's going to. You don't want traffic stopping like that. So we are going to tell them all. Oh, can we not? can't slam it into that one okay cool this is what happens when you don't rehearse what you're going to be doing and there we go we'll have that for now just for the sim simple ease of just turning that into that right so we want them all basically just come out of here and turn a certain way so they'll pull in and they'll come out wherever they need to go so that's going to be the tram station on this side and we've got the bus and metro underground metro on that side and we've got the metro overground on this side now one thing we didn't account for is this metro rail oh. You know what, I think that's future Paul's problem. And this can be the end of the line anyway. It doesn't have to be going anywhere. But that would be sick if it could. We'll come back to that. When this side of the city opens up, we'll we'll come back to this. So this is going to be... So we've got our metro and we've got our tram line. So we've got that over here. So basically that is the foundation of your hub basically this nice little off-road bit for trams and buses and trains all to come together in a good mix but it's no good unless they interact and mix with the rest of the city and we want them to be able to travel anywhere in the city via any mode of transport and anywhere basically so Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's place another key bit, and then this is basically how we're going to do it. We're going to build our key bits and move them, basically, build everything around the transportation links. So, there we go. We saw this awesome one, the sunken metro station. I really liked. We got that at an angle. That's going to look really good. So if we can have, wait, got to have a look, which way is going to be busier? So north to south here, that's not going to be very busy because it's not very wide, but it is very wide width ways. So I guess we're going to need those tunnels underneath. Let's go ahead and bung that in. Lovely. And let's make this a roundabout. A square about basically we're using we are using we're using some of the fancy roads okay didn't know you could do that 
All right. Uh, but we want one way, so kind of scratch that. But good to know we have another option if we need a fancy road. There we go. Perfect. So we do that. That one. Obviously, straight away, connect that up. To over here. So we're just showing that you can now get to this section very easily. And let's bring the tram down. Why not? Well, the tram's going to run along what would be the seafront of New Brighton. So... Let's go for a double road and leave that out of here. And let's try not to make it, let's try to make it like straight out the gate. And now let's go a bit crazy. So this is going to be, because if you imagine this is going to be like a center backbone type thing. So we're going to come down here with this and Let's spin a roundabout off that. Let's make it a nice big one. Or five and one. There you go. Five and one. There we go. Five and one. There we go. And just to finish that off, what I like to do on these, just for fun, is to make it so the trams can decide if they want to go round the roundabout or not. It gives a nice variety to it. And now the seafront, so this would be basically coming down to the seafront. I know we're not at the seafront, but we're playing on... You know, nine by nine for now. It's going to keep that looking organic, and we're going to bring it into our south terminal as well. Also, the direction of this roundabout needs to be changed. There we go. Okay, so we got that in, that in, and you know what? To stop this moaning, there we go. And not enough power. Okay, so we do want to make it kind of a challenge for them to get around a little bit. Just, And we don't want everything getting everywhere, like they're all the same. Otherwise, you're just building four of everything. So we do want another metro station. Is there an underground one of these? I think there's a big one. Here would be good, because that's just before the seafront. Oh, yeah, that one right there actually no that one there because it's carrying on and we're going to have a small one come down here oh what do you reckon do you reckon that's too close how does that look I think that that suits the area as well, actually. Okay, so got one, two. Central hub there. And we need to bring in. Oh, these go over the road, okay. So let's bring road off. Let's connect that up so they're not complaining about the police. Okay, let's have that go. That's too straight, isn't it? That's way too straight. Let's have this bend off. 
Let's have a little four. Yeah, let's do a little triangle junction. Right. Boom. So we should start to see some activity. There you go. And let's bring in... Let's not have anything touch this roundabout, so it has to be, let's say, five away at least from it. Which is very easy to do because it's just that circular bit. And we're going to bring this on like that. I did say I did want to divide this, so we could still divide this at a later date. But for now, I think what we're going to do is just expand along here. Oh, come on. There we go. And in fact, we're going to upgrade that road. Oh, that looks horrible up there. There we go. It looks a bit better. Actually, no, let's have it slam in because that does look horrible. Okay, so transportation hub. Okay, and let's have this carry on past and slam it into here. Okay, and so now we need to bring in one of these, which still requires a road along here, so we're just going to do that. Boom. Okay, we're going to put this one along here. So this is going to be the south terminals. Actually, it would be really cool if it went across the park as so, well. Hold on. We're going to switch these ones over. Hold on. So that this can go here. Yeah, so it like, like flies over the park here. This can be right there. And then that will basically connect the south terminal up. Bit more of an angle. Ah, don't worry. So here we go. That is that one in. Oh. Yeah, let's move that one slightly down, so it's also on the seafront. And... Okay, so we are getting about the city here, aren't we? So let's bring some underground stations into here. Let's have an old school one over here right in the middle of nighttime funland and let's bring you straight into this middle tube let's connect you to this are you joking Okay, that's rather weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, because these are lower, these have to come up one to the normal level before you can attach them. So it'll be the same with this one. Too high. Assuming it's too low. 
So we need to bring it up one before we attach it. There we go. Or just our city limits. That would have been a good one to put down there. But let's put another one. So this is like the one in the in the center of the park area. This could actually be a twofer, so this is going to be a twofer actually. Two for one special going on here. We've got one tube that's gonna go. Well, first off, we're gonna have it come out. 10 centimeters it's like good old-fashioned 10 so there's uh, room to wait and then we're gonna have it come off at this angle and join up there we can always fix that later so where's that angle and we're gonna have it come through here as well okay uh, no thank you uh, This is the most annoying thing about this one station. There we go. Right, so it's looking like a snaky octopus at the moment. I'm thinking this was made to go here, but that's just not enough room to slide that on. And plus the noise level as well. We've got to think about the noise level of these places. They're putting that right next to all these guys is not going to be good for anyone and it is suburbia as well so I don't think they really want to be disturbed too much those people are kind of like me I like to live in suburbia and trek to a port like this and go somewhere okay so we've got a tram line got buses that can go in and out they'll be later and just just trying to think what would be the best way in for these guys oh I'm thinking time okay thinking time over so you can go here but if I lived here I needed to get here to, to the station it's very hard is that one station that we put in here or if I want to go down here to downtown region so let's open up our underground bits we kind of want to preserve this area as much as possible which means kind of also want to leave it open to having a train be able to go out this way so I think I very sneakily get a metro station in there by not disrupting the kids playfield just coming out straight and then adding one of these like just along there we still got six million oh it's a very good point that does lend itself just to go around here now in those stations when we do the south terminal here let's have a look and see if in our newfangled pack there is a another metro no there isn't that's two trains that's all trains there but it allows the crossover of two trains and that is the old market station which is not an underground station so let's have a look and see in the regular packs if there's a train metro there is a train metro hub here and it does require a big road as well but we want it like that 
And also I can never remember which one's the metro and which one's the uh, the underground. Genuinely want it like that. Okay. Oh, do I not flatten out this area? Hold on. Oh, fix that later. Fix that in post. And let's have a look. I think the right side here is the metro line. Yes, it is, because that connects up. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Is that how we wanted it? Yes, that is how we wanted it. We can't upgrade that road, can we? That's just a non-negotiable... No. That would have been awesome. Having a tram down the middle as well. Because then we could have just plopped it there and it would have been perfect. But, say la vie. So, let's move this up closer. Let's actually move it so we're... Going along here now. This is all very much overkill. In fact, what we'll probably do here is create a little turnabout yard here somewhere or some kind of train station. But for now, what we would do, just to symbolize that this is going in these so there's going to be a train that comes out here and it's going to go off to the under and there is going to be actually it will look much more better instead of having those two big roads together let's have it on the end here and then we can build the yard there we go so that's this will be where the trams pull in for the south terminal and the metro I thank you uh, the metro is going to come so the train's going to go off and the metro here it's going to go straight 10 10 and page down it's going to meet up Ah, it's that awkward one, isn't it? There we go. Oh, actually, why why miss a golden opportunity? Hold on. Just just saying my thought process out loud. Like, why why not have the tram come round and underneath before it goes under because this is going to be wasted space anyway there we go then we're going to have our tram station out here so it's like a turnaround yard. Just put three for now. Well, just yeah, just keep it two. Why not? Easier. So you pull in, you pull off, and walk over to get your next place over there. Don't look at that bit. We're going to fix that later. How long are we going? We're going almost an hour. Cool, 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 cool. And let's have a look. Let's see what's what's needed. What's needed? What is not connected up? It does need an overground this way or something. This way. Or does it? Can we go to the... Always helps to go to this map first and that shows you what's going on and where everything is for public transport. So we need something that comes out here as well. So we could put a station or something here. 
in this section have this like a loop. So that also goes forth. Okay, let's have a look. Just remember that actually, just remember the more of these we put down, the more we're going to have to think about where we're placing our businesses and stuff. So I'm just going to have another think and have a look at this map. Oh, look, there's a train. Hold on. While I'm thinking, let's have a look at the train. So there we go. Trains already come in. So people are already using this area. Good, good, good. I'm also feeling like a football stadium as well should be somewhere here. So that should be like a central hub. <laughs> Could you imagine a load of foot drunk footballers, like football fans, coming out of the stadium and trying to navigate their way down this thing? <laughs> that would be dangerous. So when we do expand, is these are going to come all the way down here. You've got to remember that. So now we're just going to put a little thing in here. And that way we can use this. It doesn't always have to be. Oh, probably should put that on the other side doesn't always have to be the newest and latest thing. It can just be good old-fashioned, reliable bits that you've already got. But yeah, there should be a football stadium, shouldn't there? Really? I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling it should go here, like right in the centre. How are we going to get the crowd there? Number one. So why don't we have this split off and then that will satisfy my need to have another overground line. So that goes there and this can just connect up. It's going to say nice and easily to that one. Like that. Seems a bit excessive. I don't want that connected to this, by the way. That's not going to be connected to this station. I want that connected down here. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, no, come on. Let's not overthink this. Let's... Sometimes these things do... Not everything connects nice and smoothly. Sometimes these things do lap like that. So there we go. And then that leads to the possibility... There we go. It's looking like a nice octopus thing here. Okay, cool. So we've got that one. Is there another underground one? There isn't another underground one, is there? Apart from that one, but that's too... Plus I want that a little bit further down, actually. So that, for now, is not going to get a station. Because it's going to be just going off parallel but not as much so this side is going to be like the fast side so if you want to get down north to south really fast top middle or bottom and then these two the little bits in between that's the difference between the two lines okay so are we happy with all the trains I wonder that that would be, that would look ridiculous, wouldn't it? Hold on. Just had some thought. I don't. I think this is like a no-go area, isn't it? Yeah. That would have been hilarious. Okay. 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 Okay, so that's connected up, that's connected up. Now I guess we have to put the uh, services in. Why, 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 why won't you? There we go.
And so we're going to be plugging the fast line in now. So that's the fast line. Only going to go to the medium. And I wonder if they will actually. Oh, can we pick what side they're on? Oh, that's very intriguing. Can you have two of these coming out of here? Okay, and let's have on the other side. The other train that goes down to the south terminal and back. No, we don't want it running to the middle. We might decide to put a fast train in here, you never know. And back you go. Cool. So we got that flowing. And now we need our trains east to west. So on the outskirts here. See if I can get this one. Okay, on the left here, left here, left here. That's that one in and left here. That's that one. So this is the medium one going in, I think. Yep. It's going to be that one, that one, back to that one, and back to that one. Okay, and done that side, we've done that one. What about this one? That goes in there. This is a very long episode, by the way. And then back here to here. So now pretty much get everywhere by the subway system. Uh, or the underground, as we like to call it. And I wonder if I can start another one that comes down here. It's there. And comes here. So there's lots of different ways to get around the city. It's like an octopus of that kind of transport. So let's give them a, a reason to come now. So we've got big, big budget and I bought this football pack of stadiums. And you know, what? I'm just going to slap down this one because I know Chelsea is an England team and you know, I know this is new Brighton, but surely Chelsea and new Brighton, they're, they're the same thing really. So this is going to be our loud area where the football stadium is going to be football and in that goes perfect wonderful we'll give it fancy trees because football demands fancy trees there we go fancy trees and right so that is that one Let's see, how long are we going? An hour, okay, let's see. Let's start bringing some roads in. So that's gonna be nice, straight off there, I like that. There was a no within five thing of this roundabout. We want this one to kind of skull in like that. I think I should push that over really. Let's push that over before we put our bus routes in. Just because if we're being really strict about it, we should. Okay, so there we go. There, that That's kind of like the centerfold of the city now. I don't really know what to put around the outside. Probably a path. And what's this roundabout going to do? Okay, so bring that in like that. That in like that. We're just going to keep this fairly symmetrical. Right, cool. That looks good, actually. So what we're going to do about this road? We're going to put the road back in. Hold on, hold on. It's going to come around here like that. We're going to bring that out like that. Wonderful. Okay, so... 
Let's have it also come off here. First of all, let's get this roundabout sorted. Left, 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 left. Perfect. So we've got this, this, all the tram does just come along here. Yeah, I kind of want to bring a tram in as well, just to really spice things up for the football. Road with the tram tracks. So this is going to be where... Can you have... Let's just have a little experiment. Can you have that with a raised thing? Yes, you can. Oh, that's very tempting to have something happen now with that. If I think of it, I will let you know. But I think the area is getting a little bit crammed as it is. So we will delete that. We go bring that in. Then we will turn this into... So this is going to be for the buses to turn around in. And then if we switch over to tram only road, that would look quite sick. Oh no, it's doing that horrible, horrible thing. Hold on. Let's see if we can get that a bit better. There we go. Push that one back. And now we'll go back to that tram only line. Oh, that looks much better already. We're going to have to have a turning about thing here. Wonderful. In fact, I'm wondering if I should bring it through on that one. Just so it's got a bit more room. So the traffic in that area has a bit more room to play about with, which I think it does. Okay. I mean, you got to remember as well, the tram is also a very legit way of bringing roads through as well. I think we're going to, yeah, we're going to end that squareness off by bringing it across there but when it comes out here we're going to have it curve through what will be some kind of village or town area because we do want the residents to have multiple options I mean, if you lived in the city, you would be like, what are they doing? What's all this infrastructure for? No one lives over there. We all live over here. Also, let's bring in some trains, just so they are, do they are getting some use out of it. So let's have you go winding through this village. That one. To that one and to that one uh, back so this is the even slower train might have to delete the original line then this is going to be the fast train no that just stops at one station And back. Then on this side, there's going to be a super fast train. But first, let's start bringing them in. And let's put you on that side. You can come in to this one. Why not? Uh, back again on the outskirts. And in you go. And you are going to be the fast train, so you're not going to go. Th you're going to go straight through there. And let's have you come in here and back. Might have that subject to change. 
Okay, so we've brought a tram line down as well as around. Definitely think we should just bring this up as a normal road. Okay, right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Thinking. Thinking time. Okay, so very weird to build a city without really knowing what you're going to be doing. Okay, but all goes Pete Tong, guys. Don't worry. You can blame me. It's been, a, it's been a good run. We've had great innings. I feel like in a lot of builds, there's not like little roads like that that are just quirky. Okay, so we brought the tram down here. Do we want the tram to go anywhere else? Um, got a big old thing there. And got to decide what we're doing with this road when it gets down here. Probably just carry that on as an ambulance thing or it's really annoying you can't just change that road over and let's bring that oh no we can't bring it up now because or can we yes we can yes we officially can let's have that strike into there don't worry we'll fix that later in post don't worry about that and we can have a bus stop station right here. Hold on. Oh no, no, what am I doing? Bring that back. Have one of those unofficial bus stops here, which is wonderful. Yeah, let's have you come up the site. Oh, no. Is that that's four hours, isn't it? It's not going to be four out. But it's England. Nothing really coordinates over here. So let's bring that over here like that, and that to that. Cutting off that. Let's bring that down here. Oh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Get rid of that. Die. Bring that there, turn that in there. I think maybe that should be like a concert park. If we're going for like a really leery, loud area, that should maybe be a concert park. In fact, let's do that because this is the city, isn't it? Effectively. So let's see if we can if we can bring in a concert park, a fan park. Oh, look at that! It's brilliant. Okay, so that's over there, wonderful. And as you notice, these are very near our main station, so it'll be very easy for people to get in and out after a gig, which I think they'll much appreciate. Because I would, if I was. I can't even remember the last, when was the last gig people went to? Oh, barely. So as you can see, we've divided the train line in half, basically giving two options for the trains to come in and out. So they're not all pouring in down one side of the train line. Like if we just had this one, all the trains will want to come down here and they'll be coming through here from both sides, all angles and everywhere. Where because we've got these two here, oh, I thought I was going to see a right train jam then. It's because we've got these two here, it kind of divides them up and it's a bit more free flowing. So, let me know what you think of this beautiful transportation hub. I think we can get a fourth one in here, maybe a monorail. A monorail would be quite awesome if it pulled in here. If we had an airport somewhere, probably in the distance. If we brought in an airport, we could put a monorail on the side here. And that would literally transport people from the airport or such to here. Or maybe even from the ferry to the transport. That would be quite good. If we put a ferry port in over here and we brought them in by the monorail. 
and then they can get everywhere or outbound outwards. So yeah, I'm going to do an abridged version and the long version. If you're watching the long version, thank you very much for staying all the way. And if you're watching the, the abridged version, thank you very much for the short tutorial here. And I will see you guys on the next one when we're going to be filling out the city here and ramming it full of people and things. And we're just basically going to let it go nuts. And grow as big as it wants, as fast as it wants. We're going to be bringing in lots of good stuff just to really make the city pop. It's going to be a really good episode next time. And I wish you all a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and maybe if you fancy, hit that bell notification button for all the good stuff. But until then, thank you very much watching this have a great day and honestly i think we hit over 130 subscribers thank you so much to all of you and yeah wonderful i right. i'll see you guys next week bye bye and i'm just gonna leave you to admire the beauty that we've made while i play the outro voiceover guy he is getting quite annoying i need to change him up but yes that will do it that's the end no more bonus material right oh no one's using the tram hold on no one's using the trams oh because the trams don't really go anywhere okay cool I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below? It would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform. Links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.